Hi, AJ Hartley here, novelist, Shakespeare professor, fan of various aspects of Japanese music and culture, including Atarashi Gakko, who have a new song, Tokyo Calling. quick review response i'm not going to get into a lot of close lyrical analysis because the song uh, comes with a transcript on youtube a number of people have already done little translation videos which i think are solid so i'm not going to get into too much of that but i wanted to respond to the video anyway because i think there's some really interesting things about it Songs written by Yonki, Yoshio Tamamura, and Atarashi Gakko, which is something that they have done recently on their work with Money Mark of the Beastie Boys on the Pineapple Kryptonite and Snack Time EP. I think that you can hear their influence within the composition of that. And musically, I think this song is clearly a descendant of their work with, with Money Mark. And the rap element has a clearly a Beastie Boys sort of influence. And the content has parallels to Pineapple Kryptonite. Though I think here the attitude to the alien invader is more complex. It's musically quite simple not especially melodic, and it reduces the group to pretty much background, except for Suzuka, who takes the lead in the whole song. And it relies on the energy, the drive, and forthrightness of the lyric and its delivery. And in that, I think it's it's very effective. Some of you who are familiar with my channel will know that I've talked about a baby metal song called Meta Taro, or Meta Meta Taro. <laughs> And I think this has a little in common with that. Both of these songs are sort of superhero kind of battly monsters kind of songs. And both are musically marches, specifically in terms of rhythm and the way that they function as a, a sort of stirring element for the audience. We are marching! We are marching! The baby metal song is, is simpler in its attitude, unless you get very meta, as I did in my discussion. But it also celebrates heroism and confidence. And in both cases, the, the songs, um, the bands expand that sense of heroism and confidence to include the audience. And I think in some ways, as songs that have a relationship in terms of treatment of similar material, both Metatoro and Tokyo Calling are pretty good examples of what make these bands what they are and what make them different from each other. Both bands are, are have a playfulness and a dramatic quality to them. Baby Metals tends to be more epic and a little bit more general. Atarashi Gakos tend to be more subversive and more socially specific. Partly the difference between metal and punk. I still think that Atarashi Gakko have a punk leaning, even though I don't think their sound is particularly punk. Anyway, the Atarashi Gakko song title, Tokyo Calling, is an appeal for aid and a call to action. It's an, an SOS. The visuals of the video draw heavily on Godzilla, Mothra, Kaiju movies as well as things like Ultraman and other Japanese superheroes. But the threat isn't on Tokyo exactly, or rather it is, but that's because the true threat is the state of Tokyo itself already, which needs to be saved from itself. So the group, Atarashi Gakko, represent both the defense of Tokyo as the helmeted guards, 
and its potential salvation, paradoxically, as the kaiju. And I think the visuals deliberately evoke those older uh, versions of those movies because it's not all CGI. The, the set is clearly a diorama and they're moving around the buildings. I think it looks really fun and cool. The core problem of the song is not the monstrous invasion, but the state of contemporary Japan, which is marked lyrically as lifeless, trapped by conventionality, perpetually apologetic, driven by an obsession with study and work, which is exacerbated by the need to work extra mindless jobs because of the state of the current economy. The only available outlets are an unhealthy fascination with digital media, which they've touched on before in songs like Nai Nai Nai, and with vacuous prepackaged entertainment in the form of idol culture. People often want to talk about Atarashi Gakko and Baby Metal as idol groups. They're clearly not. And this kind of statement here, I think, is indicative of the extent to which Atarashi Gakko are doing something different from what traditional idol music does. All of these elements, these negative elements, are the outgrowths of a society which, from the perspective of the song, is uninterested in creative or socially disruptive thought, reducing people to workers or consumers, and stifling their individuality in ways rendering their lives effectively meaningless, whether they recognize that fact or not. Tellingly, this has become a major social commentary lately, and I've addressed it several times in my consideration of songs by Hanabie, Gacharik Spin, and the animated TV show Agretsuko, which tracks some of these exact same beats and issues, grinding nature of work, the escape through digital media, idle obsession. Tokyo Calling has some optimism in it, however, and the optimism of the song is that the band position themselves as representatives of an impulse for change. Young people on the march, not as destroyers, like your classic kaiju, of what is around them, but as energetic reformers who can include everyone, including those poised to fight against them, their alter egos in their helmets. And the final dance clearly celebrates every element of Japanese society, regardless of age, gender, profession, finally coming together in a moment of joyous harmony. Is it a great song? Personally, I wouldn't say so, I, but that's because I prefer their more melodic material and the songs that have a bit more of the jazz and rock infusion than the rap or hip hop. But I like the content and the energy of it, and I think it will be great live. It seems interestingly timed as a release just as their US tour begins, since it has a heavy English lyrical content, and it's designed to rouse the crowd. It also sounds like Japanese outreach, Tokyo calling to the world, in ways reminiscent of some of the videos that Atarashi Gako used to make about Japanese traditional culture. But the content is now much more critical and raises the suggestion that some of what Japan needs is, like the invading monsters coming out of the ocean in all those kaiju movies, is something from outside that traditional culture. Perhaps a greater emphasis on individual freedom and creativity. Despite the English lyrics, the target audience for this seems to me expressly to be Japanese young people. All of this is, of course, packaged with Atarashi Gakko's customary intelligence, playfulness, and dynamism. A welcome addition to the rapidly expanding AG canon. Great stuff. That's all I'm going to say. As ever, please like, comment, subscribe, check out my Patreon page. Thank you to my patrons. Check out my books, including, of course, Hideki Smith, Demon Queller, my recent novel. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.